The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Nashville Sounds and the Round Rock Express. Coming to the plate now, Sam Travis. And we are set for baseball here this evening. This ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Temperature reading an even 80 degrees at first pitch tonight. This pitch is popped up. Jones over to his right. One out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bed next will be Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Batting third. Digging the in, third Andy Abanez. And, and he's got that batting Ibanez. lineup near the 300 mark entering play. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The 1 2. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Mayfield. He's got it, and the side is retired. Great Kessinger. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. On the ground to the left side. There's Connor Falefa. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. At the plate, Jeremy Pena. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Hit on the ground toward the left. To second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Standing in, Taylor Jones. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. 1-1. One, one. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. The 1-2. Line softly toward the hole, and this is taken for the out. Set for the start of the inning and striding forward the designated hitter, Shirton Apostle. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. McCormick arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Stepping in, Josh Young. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Young. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That is it. So bases are empty here with two Blake. gone. And up next, Swihart. the former catcher turned utility man, Blake Swihart. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. If he's able to locate that two-seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So digging in now, Eric Jenkins. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Wren will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Jack Mayfield. Jack. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Now the three and two pitch. Grounded to third. And that's out number one. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ronnie Dawson, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Corey Lee is on deck. Popped him up. Ibanez in foul ground two gone into the box now Corey Lee comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game the 1 1 this one's flared toward left center in there a base hit Into the box, Chaz McCormick. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Stepping into the box, Alex McKenna, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Top of the third set to get underway, and set to go is the second baseman, Eliezer Alvarez. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. And this is taken in for route number one. In now, Julio Pablo Martinez. Julio Pablo Martinez. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. And he missed with it up and in to even things at 2-2. Two and two. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. The first base. Digging in to try it again. Sam Travis. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside. And that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half. And there's their first hit of the game. He'll get it into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Now that is the shortstop, Isaiah Connor Falefa. At the plate now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Two and one. All even now, two and two. Two and two, here it is. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Hit down the line at first. the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Striding into the box Stephen Wren as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off.
down the first baseline. Oh, and this goes right past him. Stepping up to the plate, Ray Kessinger. The third baseman, Ray Kessinger. He's set. Here's the 2 2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So striding in, Jeremy Pena. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Jeremy Pena. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. The first baseman. Ready now, Taylor, Taylor Jones. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. And they get him trying to swipe a base to retire the side. All set for the start of the fourth. And set to go is the third baseman, Andy Abanez. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to and a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Now that doesn't need to hit it. Now a throw over to first, but the runner's back easily. Stepping in now, shirt and apostle. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Josh Young. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Mayfield moving to his left makes the play, and there are two gone now. So we're runner at first here with two gone the in the catcher. inning. And up next, Blake. the former catcher turned Swihart. utility man, Blake Swihart. Hey. A ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is in there. A called strike three. Stepping in, Taylor Jones. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jack Mayfield. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Striding forward now is the D.H. Ronnie Dawson. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Jenkins is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. 
Now at the plate, Corey Lee, one for one after a single this first time up. The one one. Taken, strike two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Line drive base hit. To the plate now, Chaz McCormick. And he misses again, ball three. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate. And with that, the inning is over. In now, Eric Jenkins. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Now that second base, Eliezer Alvarez. At the plate, Eliezer Alvarez. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. And a bad time for that as the runner takes second here. Now that the Stepping up now, Julio Pablo Julio Martinez. Pablo Martino. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back. Here's the 1-1. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now batting. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Sam Travis, runner in scoring position with two gone. Line softly to the right side. Foul. Here's the one two. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. The run comes across to score and they jump ahead one nothing. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. The bat number nine. Isaiah so now to the plate, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hit on the ground out to short, reined in. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Late Alex McKenna. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. This is line to left. Jenkins is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Into the box now. Yeah, Stephen Wren comes field. into this at bat 0 for yeah. 1 in the ballgame. Yeah. The 1-1. Misses, ball 2. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Three and one to him now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. 
So striding forward now. Great Kessinger. A hit in two tries so far. And this is popped up near second base. Alvarez will put this one away and the side is retired. Joe Biagini takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 29, Joe. Stepping into the box, Andy Ibanez. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. Popped up, back behind second. Mayfield is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Shirton Apostle. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Scooped up. And there are two away now. So stepping in, Josh Young. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Hit hard on the ground towards second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Standing in now, Blake Swihart. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So coming to the plate, Jeremy Pena. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Jenkins is there and he'll bring this one in. Digging in once again, Taylor Jones. It was a walk in his last trip. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jack Mayfield. He got under one and popped out his last time up. The 2-2. Line toward right center. That gets down and the inning continues. Now batter. The designated hitter. Into the box now. Ronnie Dawson. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really worked. The 2-1 pitch. in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Willie Pigato is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 31. New inning set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Eric Jenkins. 1-1. One, one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Eliezer Alvarez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. 
This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now back the center fielder. Julio Pablo Martinez. At the plate now, Julio Pablo Martinez hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The battle. The first thing in now, Sam Travis. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Joe Barlow gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Chaz McCormick. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And that's through into center field, so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Now that. At the plate, Alex McKenna. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Stephen Wren waits on deck. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Barehanded for one. Back to first, but a good job to break up the double play as he couldn't make an accurate throw. Into the box, Stephen Wren. No hits to this point. Ball and two strikes now. Barlow, a native of Utah, the Beehive State. He throws a four-seam fastball, a curve, and a two-seam fastball. Two balls and two strikes now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And the payoff pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Now late, Ray Kessinger. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. He's set and the three and one pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying the run will move into scoring position at second. Jeremy. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Left fielder looking up. And they have taken the lead. Derek Law takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. So now to the plate, Taylor Jones. On the ground to third. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Austin Pruitt has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Coming to the plate now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCormick is there and he has it for the out. Now Digging in, Andy Abanez. He's working on a Andy one for three Ibanez. thus far. Hits are even at seven apiece. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. 
inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one hitters count all the way here it comes easy fly ball into shallow center field and that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, designated hitter. Good thing. To Blake now, Shirt and Apostle. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Josh Young, who represents the possible go ahead run here, waits in the on deck circle. Into the corner and slicing foul. Try it again, three and two. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Riding in once again, Josh Young. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Carson LaRue gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Stepping in now, Blake Swihart. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. In the air out toward right field. Wren is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The left fielder, number five. Stepping in and ready Eric. for another shot, Eric Jenkins. Jenkins. Now the three and two pitch. Left side, but well fouled. The next three, two. Grounded to short, reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Ready once again, Jack Mayfield. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. There's Connor Falefa, and that's the first down. Digging in now, Ronnie Dawson, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fouled away. 4-3 our score here as we play the eight. To two balls and two strikes now. Fouled off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Shane Carr enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Digging in, Corey Lee. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. A 1 1 home. Carl has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. The 2 2. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's in there. Base hit. Blake now, Chaz McCormick, swing in the line drive, but a foul ball. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way, and he fouls this one off. He's set, here's the three and two, and he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Liner towards second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Now 
now at the plate, Eliezer Alvarez. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Three-two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting. Striding in, Julio Pablo Martinez. Last time through was a base hit. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Now batting, Sam Travis. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Two and two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. Juan Nicasio enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 40. Now at the plate, Alex McKenna. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Guide down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Standing in, Stephen Wren. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Gray Kessinger is working on a one for three thus far. The one one home. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Into the box, Jeremy Pena. Lofted in the air out toward right center. He brings it in, and they have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Nashville Sound came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Derek Law wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Juan Nicasio hammers down the save, his 30th. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.
we remind you to please drive home safely.